Hello everyone, welcome to Farringdon Stables. So I'm pleased to be joined by Charlie Hills. Charlie, Batash is behind us in the fields there, enjoying his well in retirement. Just as terms of a stable star, what was he like to train? Oh, he's fantastic, you know, um, with so much speed and ability. Um, and, you know, it's great to have him, have him here for, for those years, really. What was it like for you when he won at Royal Ascot? Because many people thought he wasn't an Ascot horse here, this sort of travels at Ascot, yeah. but to go win the King's Stand, it must have been a terrific day for the I yard. Think, I don't think he was an Ascot horse. I mean, he wasn't. It, he certainly wasn't suited by that track because you know it, it does stamina comes into into play a lot more and you know it's a very stiff five furlong so uh, but it was great to you know finish the second twice the blue point with him, with him out of the way um, it was great to eventually win the king's stand i mean sticking with some of the horses garris and the ablant last time at the new market during the week a narrow second yeah. in terms of him is he going to go back to ascot for the platinum jubilee this year again um i think that could be the plan yeah we'll, we'll certainly put, put him in that race uh, we've got the duke of york before then i think there might also be a race in france we could look at as well uh, but yeah great run and just unlucky not to win and also cardem he's been out in dubai for the winter he's a horse who won the stewards cup in 2019 was very impressive we've all seen his talents before just where are you sort of out with him now and what's the plan for him this season um we're probably going to run him in the Palace House in a couple of weeks' time, Newmarket. You know, he's, he was he broke track record actually over five at Doncaster, so we know he's a very fast horse. Um, so that'd be a good good starting point really for him. Also, just quickly, Royal Commando is he going to be aimed at seven furlong contests this season, or is he going to sort of flip flop between the six and seven yeah, like he was he's last in year? Yeah, he's a six or seven furlong horse. Um, you know, obviously he hasn't been on the track for, for a while. He had an injury last year, but he's back now in full fast work and. Uh, We'll probably start him off at a seven furlong somewhere, maybe Haylock. Also, saying, listen, I know you're very excited about him this season. Yeah. What's the plans for him for going um, into the new campaign? Yeah, he ran yesterday, and you know, it was a bit of a fast for a race. Really, went no gallop at all, and it was a three furlong sprint. Um, but I was encouraged the way he ran, um, come out of the race nicely. So um, we'll probably look at maybe Sandown Classic Trial or all the D sticks at Chester. Wonderful, thank you, Charlie. Thank Thanks very.